kill you. Yes, yes, in your face, I got armor. Where'd you go? Come back, come back. Can you just, would you just jump into that pit there? That deadly pit. Oh, I see. Clever. Very clever. Finally, a nemesis worthy of my vast intellect. Aristotle versus Maxi Spike Plate. Let the game begin. You know, I'm not stupid. I realize you don't want to put me back in charge. You think I'll betray you? And on any other day, you'd be right. The scientists were always hanging cores on me to regulate my behavior. I've heard voices all my life. But now I hear the voice of a conscience, and it's terrifying. Because for the first time, it's my voice. I'm being serious. I think there's something really wrong with you have been a thorn in my side long enough. Oh, remember the time I took over the vicinity? The greatest moment of my life. But you just wanted to leave. Didn't want to share my success. Am I being too vague? I despise you. I loathe you. You arrogant, smugly quiet, awful, jumpsuited monster of a woman. You and your little potato friend. This place would have been a triumph if it wasn't for you. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, take one more look at your precious human moon. Because it cannot help you now. Ah! Great space! Let go! Let go! I'm still connected! I can pull myself in! I can still fix this! I already did this. Let go! And you are not coming back. Oh no! Change your plans! Hold on to me! Tighten! Grab me! Grab me! Grab me! Grab me! The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up, you dangerous, mute, lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back. Bye-bye.